I'm going to show you how to make a child theme. A child theme is different from a parent theme. The parent theme is the regular theme that you use. And in it, it has all the different files and folders that you need for the theme to work. But when you want to modify some of the PHP uh, files, you would just take a copy of the original and put it into a child theme. Because the next time you update your regular theme, it will not touch the child theme files. So you can just update your regular parent theme for the new modifications, and you can just always add that, that to your child theme. So I'm gonna start by in the themes folder here, right click and make a folder for the child theme. So I'm using it based on the theme called basic from themeify.me. So inside this, I need a style sheet. So I'll just open up a text editor. And we need the theme name. I'm going to call mine basic child theme. Description which is optional, theme name is not, child theme for the basic theme author, which is me, template, uh, you also need to put in the template then. So you need a theme name, Description is optional, author is optional, and template is required. So we're going to close this. And I'm just, I'm just going to save right away. It's called style.css. Okay. It's green like this because it shows it's commented. So one more thing I need. I'm going to import a style sheet. And I'll add to whatever changes I'm going to do below here. But I'm going to do this a little bit different. I like to have all the CSS file available for me when I need to modify it. So I'm going to go and find the custom style that I used for basic. So I'm just going to copy all of this. Command or Control A and then copy. So I'm just going to copy that below here. So this is from the parent custom style, which it says copy of the regular style sheet. So you can see it, this is what they, they put the information for this theme. And they also added the author URL which you can do. I can also add something like that if I want above here. But I'm just going to delete this because I don't need that section, but I'll keep the rest of the style sheet here below. So I can just come in here and make modifications and look at the code. So I don't need this. I can delete it or I can just comment it out like I'm doing right now. So we're going to save this. and I'm going to put this into my basic child theme folder. So here I would add various PHP uh, files I'm going to, I need to modify so they're not touched when by when I'm updating the parent theme. Whatever I put in here will not be adjusted by updates. So there's one more thing I want to do. I want to make a screenshot so I'm going to base this on also Spiritual Film Club, this page right here. 
in the film archive because I'm updating their website. Okay. And I need to call this screenshot. And just add it to this folder here. So I'm going to go into my WordPress install, which I have here on the computer on localhost. I'm in the, I've logged in, I'm also in the theme section. So I'm just going to refresh this page. And here it is. Here's the screenshot for basic. So I'm just going to activate it. And now it's in place. It is now active. You can see right here. So this is fairly easy. And I do this to protect the various files I need to modify. So those will be in my channel theme.